The Western world has been filled with awe and amazement at the miracle that is China's giant bridges. The construction of bridges in China has made significant progress during the 13th Five-Year Plan, which runs from 2016 to 2020 and covers the period from 2016 to 2020. During this time period, the nation has consistently advanced its capabilities in the area of bridge design and construction, breaking a number of world records in the process. During the time period in question, almost 14,000 railroad bridges were built and made available for use, spanning an approximate distance of 5,500 miles or 8,900 kilometers. Of this total, over 4,000 miles were dedicated to the construction of high-speed railway bridges. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today we are going to talk about how the Chinese are building the top 10 most incredible mega bridges in the world. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. Number 10. Jade Belt Bridge the Jade Belt Bridge, which can be found on the grounds of the Summer Palace in Beijing, China, is considered to be the most well-known of the six bridges that are located along the western bank of Kuming Lake. The Summer Palace is located in Beijing. It was created between the years 1751 and 1764 under the reign of Qianlong of the Qing Dynasty, 1644 to 1911 and it is a lovely pedestrian moon bridge that was acclaimed as Sea Fairy Island. The use of marble and various other types of white stone in the building's construction. Number 9. Luding Bridge In Luding County, which is situated in Sichuan Province, China, roughly 80 kilometers to the west of the city of Yan, there is a bridge that spans the Dadu River and is referred to as the Luding Bridge. During the Qing Dynasty, 1644 to 1911, the full bridge was built in the 45th year, 1706, of the reign of Kangxi. This occurred during the year 1706. The overall length of the bridge is 103 meters, and it has a width of 3 meters. Additionally, it is constructed out of 13 iron chains. In addition, the steel that Emperor Kangxi used to give the bridge its name is still displayed today at one of the bridge's terminals. Number 8. Amping Bridge Amping Bridge can be found in Jinjiang County, Fuzhou City, Fujian Province, to the west of Anhai Town. Fuzhou City is located in Fujian Province. Amping Bridge is the longest and largest ancient stone beam bridge in China. It was initially constructed in the eighth year of the Shaxing reign during the Southern Song Dynasty, 1138. The bridge connects Jinjiang County and Nanan County across a bay. It is also known as the Five Li Bridge due to the fact that its length is 2,255 meters, which is approximately equivalent to five li, where a li is approximately equivalent to 500 meters or 0.3 miles. Number 7. Marco Polo Bridge One of the first segmented stone arch bridges, also known as the Marco Polo Bridge or Lugu Bridge, can be found in the Fengtai District of Beijing approximately 15 kilometers southwest of the city center. It was initially constructed in 1189 and spans the banks of the Yongding River, which is a significant tributary of the Hai River. The length of the bridge is approximately 265 meters, and it features 250 marble balustrades that are supported by 485 stone lines that have been carved. Because Marco Polo brought attention to the bridge in his writings, it is commonly referred to as the Marco Polo Bridge in countries that are located in the Western Hemisphere. Number 6. The Jiazhao Bay Bridge When compared to the roadway that travels along the coast of the bay, the Jiazhao Bay Bridge shortens the distance between Qingdao and Huangdao by 19 miles, or 30 kilometers, which results in a reduction in travel time of between 20 and 30 minutes. The bridge crosses Jiazhao Bay. The layout of the bridge is in the shape of a T, and the most important entry and exit locations are located in the Liking district of Tingdao and in Huangdao, respectively. The main span is connected to a branch that goes to Hongdao Island via a T intersection that only partially directs traffic. The building required the utilization of 2.3 million cubic meters of concrete in addition to 450,000 tons of steel. Number 5. Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge 
On the rail line that connects Shanghai and Nanjing in Jiangsu province, this bridge is currently being built. The total length of the bridge is an astounding 164.8 kilometers, which equates to 102.4 miles. It is situated in the Yanks River Delta, which is characterized geographically by lowland rice paddies, rivers, canals, and lakes. Construction on the bridge was finished in 2010, and it was opened to the general public the following year, in 2011. The undertaking was completed in four years at a total expense of approximately $8.5 billion, during which time it required the participation of more than 10,000 workers. Number 4. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge This bridge, which currently holds the title of being the world's longest overseas bridge, connects China's southern economic powerhouse, Guangdong Province, to the financial centers of Hong Kong and Macau. The I-shaped bridge will have a total length of around 55 kilometers when it is finished, beginning on Lantau Island in Hong Kong. It will consist of an undersea tunnel that is 6.7 kilometers long and an elevated bridge that is 23 kilometers long. The final tower of the bridge was installed by construction workers on June 2, 2016, and the entire project is scheduled to be completed in February 2018. After having been under development since 2009, this bridge has become an essential link in the transportation network that connects Hong Kong, Macau, Zhuhai, and the western portion of the Pearl River Delta. Number 3. The Exingkang Bridge Crossing the Exingkang Bridge in Luding County brings you to a height of 935 feet over the Dadu River. The primary span of the enormous suspension bridge is more than 3,600 feet, which is equivalent to 1,100 meters, making it one of the largest that has ever been built. Massive steel cables with a diameter of 77 centimeters are suspended from the towers that are located on each side of the bridge at a height of 188 meters. More than 180 strands of steel wire measuring 5 millimeters in width are used to construct each cable. The bridge was built as part of a new highway that connects Yian and Kangding, both of which are located within the province of Sichuan. Number 2. The Duge Bridge The Duge Bridge, also known as the Baipanjing Bridge, is a feat of engineering that runs for a distance of 4,400 feet above the Bipan River. When it first opened, the road deck of the bridge was 1,850 feet, 565 meters, above the river that it crossed. This made it the tallest bridge in the world at the time. The construction of the bridge began in 2011, and it was finished exactly five years later, in September of 2016. It is estimated that the construction of the enormous bridge cost about 1.02 billion yuan, which is equivalent to over $140 million in American currency. The number of high bridge erections in China is just crazy, asserted Eric Sikowski, an American bridge lover who maintains a website on the world's highest bridges. The number of high bridges erected in China is just crazy. It is estimated that China opens over 50-50 new high bridges per year, whereas the rest of the world collectively opens only 10-10 new high bridges. According to the research conducted by Mr. Sikowski, 81 of the world's 100 highest bridges may be found in China, including a couple that are still under construction. China also has the longest bridge in the world, the 102-mile Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge, which is a high-speed rail viaduct moving parallel to the Yangtze River in comparison. China devotes almost 9% of its economy to the construction of infrastructure. The promotion of rapid economic expansion is one of the key goals that China has in mind by acting in this manner. Number 1. The Chishi Bridge The Chishi Bridge is a marvel of concrete and steel construction, and its length of 1.4 miles allows it to cross a verdant valley in southern China. There are four docks that look like magnificent tuning forks and are as tall as skyscrapers. Huge steel cables are keeping a four-lane expressway together above rice and maize fields at an elevation of around 600 feet, 180 meters. After beginning construction in March of 2010, the Chishi Bridge was not officially open to vehicular traffic until October of 2016. The bridge was the first cable-state bridge with several spans anywhere in the world.
The Chishi Bridge is only one of the many hundreds of enormous bridges that have been built in China in the past several years. Officials in China recognize them as evidence that their nation can construct infrastructure that is larger, more advanced, and more elevated than that of any other nation. As of right now, China is the owner of the world's longest bridge, the highest rail trestle, the highest bridge, and a whole host of other superlatives, typically surpassing its own previous achievements. The astounding structures have cut travel times in many regions, simplified commerce, and been the driver for a sizable section of the country's economy. They have also laid a foundation, at least in principle, for decades of future development. Critics, however, argue that building has become a means to an end that is working against itself as the number of bridges and expressways that it spans continues to increase. Many of the projects are amassing debt and fostering corruption, despite the undeniable advantages they provide to transportation, because they are funded by loans provided by the government and driven into existence by large construction firms and public officials who stand to profit from them. The Chishi Bridge in Hunan Province, China, is a good example of how China's infrastructure development has a dark side, despite its unassuming appearance. The actual cost was $300 million, which was approximately 50% higher than the budgeted amount. The project was plagued by problems from the beginning, including delays, a serious accident during construction, and corrupt government officials. Since October, when it was open to traffic, both the bridge and the freeway that crosses across it have been woefully underutilized, resulting in a mountain of unpaid debt. The majority of the villagers who live below the Chishi Bridge will never be able to cross it because the cost of doing so, which begins at approximately $3 and increases depending on the size of the vehicle, is already out of their price range. But even if the jury is still out on whether or not the bridges offer any benefits, one can certainly applaud their excellent engineering. Outro. That's a wrap on the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.